Imagine a sepia-tinged afternoon, where the golden rays of nostalgia stretch their gentle fingers across the tapestry of your memories. In that timeless space, perhaps you recall the magic of your first encounter with the 1977 cinematic gem, Candleshoe. Ah, the flicker of anticipation in your eyes as you settled into the embrace of the cinema seat, not knowing that this movie would etch itself into the corridors of your mind. Do you remember the thrill that coursed through you as the story unfurled like a hidden treasure map? The mysterious Candleshoe estate, nestled in the English countryside, beckoned with its secrets and whispers of forgotten fortunes. Jodie Foster's youthful exuberance breathed life into her dual roles, a charming charlatan and a spirited scamp, blurring the lines between reality and ruse. As the plot danced between comedic capers and poignant revelations, did your heart skip a beat during those unexpected twists? Perhaps, like a tightly held secret, certain scenes have stayed with you. A chase through the sprawling mansion, laughter shared amid unlikely allies, and a poignant moment that resonated with your very core. Now, let's dim the lights on memory lane for a moment and shine a spotlight on some intriguing snippets about this beloved classic. Did you know that the film's title, Candleshoe, was inspired by a fictional estate mentioned in Rudyard Kipling's novel Puck of Pooks Hill? It's a fascinating connection that ties the movie to literary history. And while Jodie Foster's star power ignited the screen, a seasoned icon like David Niven added a touch of timeless class to the ensemble. So, there you have it, a portal to the past and a glimpse behind the curtain of Candleshoe. It's remarkable how a single movie can weave itself into the fabric of our lives, inviting us to explore the landscape of imagination and memory. So go ahead, let your thoughts wander down the lanes of nostalgia, and remember the first time you embarked on this cinematic journey. And all of this, my friend, is just the beginning of our exploration. There are more layers to peel, more stories to unearth, and more magic to relive. So, without further ado, let's dive into a trove of enchanting tidbits and intriguing anecdotes about Candleshoe, a movie that captured hearts and kindled the flames of imagination. But for now, let's cherish that initial connection and the memories it carved into the tapestry of our lives. Candleshoe, a 1977 film, emerges as a charming blend of mystery, adventure, and heartwarming storytelling. Directed by Norman Takar, the film weaves a tale rooted in intrigue and camaraderie. Set against the backdrop of a British estate, it follows the resourceful orphan Casey Brown, portrayed by a young Jodie Foster, who becomes entangled in a search for hidden treasure. The movie strikes a balance between whimsical moments and genuine emotion, with Foster's portrayal capturing the essence of the spirited protagonist. The narrative draws inspiration from Michael and Ness' novel Christmas at Candleshoe and injects its own charisma into the mix. The film's unique style stems from its seamless merging of mystery elements with the coming-of-age journey. Characters like the eccentric Lady St. Edmund and the charming conman Harry Bundage add depth to the story, each leaving an indelible mark on the narrative. Candleshoe etches its presence in popular culture not through blockbuster status, but through its ability to resonate with audiences, young and old alike. Its impact lies in its portrayal of friendship, the allure of adventure, and the idea that families can be formed by bonds stronger than blood. The film's essence continues to influence subsequent works that strive to capture the same magic of discovery and camaraderie. In essence, Candleshoe remains a timeless exploration of identity, loyalty, and the thrill of discovery, all wrapped in an engaging adventure that appeals to the child in all of us. It is a testament to the power of storytelling that transcends generations, inviting us to believe in the possibility of treasure, both material and emotional, waiting to be uncovered. In the realm of cinematic what-ifs, Lawrence Olivier's potential involvement in the 1977 film Candleshoe remains a captivating nugget of trivia. The role of Priory, a central character in the movie, was initially pondered for the venerable Olivier. However, fate took its course, and the role eventually landed in the capable hands of David Niven, who delivered a performance that became an integral part of the film's charm. Adapted from Michael and Ness' 1953 novel Christmas at Candleshoe, the film emerged nearly a quarter century after the book's debut, showcasing the enduring appeal of Ness narrative. This temporal gap only intensified the curiosity of audiences, as they embarked on a cinematic journey infused with a sense of nostalgia, intrigue, and anticipation. 
Leo McKern's substitution for Harry Andrews in the role of Harry Bundage marked another intriguing twist in the movie's casting saga. Such substitutions are not uncommon in the world of filmmaking, yet they add an element of unpredictability to the final product. McKern's inclusion added a layer of complexity to the film's ensemble, leaving audiences to ponder the what could have been scenario involving Andrews. In retrospect, Candleshoe remains not only a film but a tapestry of decisions, adaptations, and the magic of the silver screen. Its cast, a blend of considered choices and serendipitous turns, came together to breathe life into a story that had traversed years and pages. As we delve into the annals of cinematic history, these tidbits serve as reminders that the art of filmmaking is as much about the choices not made as the ones that grace the screen. And so, the 1977 film Candleshoe stands as a testament to the intertwining threads of chance and choice, casting and recasting and the ever-captivating allure of storytelling through the lens of time. In the classic 1977 film Candleshoe, the intricate tapestry of its creation reveals captivating details. Amidst the rolling landscapes and compelling characters, one standout element is the steam train locomotive that graces the screen. A GWR Churchward 45O Class 2-62T Small Prairie, adorned with the registration No. 4566 takes center stage, seamlessly weaving into the film's narrative. However, it's not just the locomotive that captures attention, it's the young and talented Jodie Foster who portrays Casey Brown in the film. Foster's dedication shines as it's unveiled that she embarked on the journey from the end of production on Freaky Friday to the commencement of filming Candleshoe with only a mere three-week break. A testament to her skill and commitment to her craft. Adding an intriguing layer to the mix, the age of the character Casey Brown, brought to life by Jodie Foster, mirrors reality. At 14, Foster herself mirrored her character's age during the making of the film. However, as fate would have it, Foster turned 15 by the time Candleshoe made its debut later in 1977, adding an intriguing touch of temporal alignment. Candleshoe not only enthralled audiences with its captivating storyline, but also intertwined the real and real lives of its cast, leaving an indelible mark on cinematic history. Jodie Foster's bold choice in Candleshoe, a glimpse into Disney's 1977 gem in the realm of Hollywood choices that resonate. Jodie Foster's pivotal decision in 1977 seconds Candleshoe stands out. The then 14-year-old actress, already making waves, opted for the enigmatic Casey over an alternative path that could have altered her trajectory. Foster's gamble, captured in the whimsy of the film, encapsulates the allure of cinematic destiny. Candleshoe, a Walt Disney production, unfurls as the final chapter of actress Helen Hayes' collaboration with the studio during the 70 seconds. Hayes, celebrated for her illustrious career, graced earlier Disney ventures including Herbie Rides Again and One of Our Dinosaurs is Missing. Her presence in Candleshoe lends an air of distinction to the film, cementing her legacy within Disney's nostalgic tapestry. A captivating layer in Candleshoe emerges through the character of Bundage, portrayed with finesse by Leo McKern. Lawrence Van Gelder, chronicler of all things cinematic for the New York Times, highlights the Dickensian inspiration coursing through Bundage's veins. The echoes of Charles Dickens' creations add a layer of complexity to the film's narrative fabric bridging literary heritage with cinematic artistry. In the backdrop of these nuances, it's Jodie Foster's audacious step into Casey's shoes that weaves the threads of fate. Rejecting an offer to portray Violet in Pretty Baby, Foster chose the enigmatic world of Candleshoe. This choice, showcased against the backdrop of intrigue, mystery, and youthful tenacity, echoes through the annals of cinematic lore. Candleshoe, a testament to Foster's daring, Helen Hayes' elegance, and Leo McKern's nuanced craft, etches its place in Disney's trove of timeless tales. The film not only entertained but also spotlighted the delicate interplay between choices and destinies that define Hollywood's evolving tapestry. In the end, it's these captivating stories that remind us of cinema's power, where roles, paths, and characters intertwine to script a narrative both on and off the screen.
Enigmatic tales from behind the scenes of Candleshoe in the annals of cinematic history. A few movies managed to leave their indelible mark not only on the silver screen, but also in the hearts of ardent moviegoers. The 1977 film Candleshoe falls squarely into this category, with its beguiling narrative and captivating characters. Amidst the tapestry of the movie's creation lies a tantalizing mystery involving the beloved characters Teddy and Piggywig, Lady Sint, Edmund's cherished toys. Contrary to popular belief, the origins of Teddy and Piggywig are shrouded in whimsy rather than legal wrangling. Lady Sint, Edmund's choice to rename the iconic duo as Teddy and Piggywig in the film wasn't driven by copyright concerns, as Disney wielded the rights to Winnie the Pooh and Piglet during that era. Instead, the names appear to have been crafted to mirror the fanciful monikers that might naturally spring forth from the lips of a young child, adding an endearing touch to the narrative. However, it's Veronica Quilligan's unexpected role as Clunny that casts a spotlight on the intrigue surrounding Candleshoe. Emerging as an 11th hour replacement, Quilligan stepped into the character's shoes, altering the course of the film's fate. The abrupt change was so close to the wire that early promotional stills showcased an entirely different young actress garbed in Clunny's attire. The mystique surrounding this casting switch continues to intrigue cinephiles, sparking speculation about the reasons behind this 11th hour pivot. The cinematic journey of Candleshoe not only unfolds through its characters, but also through the scenic backdrop of a heritage railway track. The film's rustic charm is amplified by the presence of the Severn Valley Railway, a historical railway line connecting Bridgenorth in Shropshire to Kidderminster in Worcestershire. As the vintage locomotives chug through the idyllic Midlands of England, they evoke a sense of nostalgia that complements the movie's timeless narrative. As Candleshoe celebrates its legacy, these enigmatic tidbits from behind the scenes illuminate the creative decisions that shaped its enduring allure. From whimsical toy names to last-minute cast swaps and the picturesque railway, each facet adds to the mosaic of the film's captivating world. The magic of cinema, it seems, lies not only in what is captured on camera, but also in the myriad stories that unfurl behind it. As the credits roll and the curtain falls on the timeless tale of Candleshoe, we find ourselves not only bidding adieu to a captivating story, but also embarking on a journey of introspection. This 1977 gem has woven its magic across generations, its essence seeping into the very fabric of our cinematic memories. From the idyllic English countryside to the enigmatic treasure hunt, Candleshoe whispered secrets of camaraderie, hope, and the audacity to dream. The film's characters became our friends, their laughter and tears resonating with our own. It's as if this movie cast a spell that allowed us to step into their world, feeling their heartbeat in sync with our own. Dear cinephile, as you reflect on your personal connection with Candleshoe, remember the laughter it shared with you on rainy afternoons, the nostalgia it stirred on quiet evenings, and the dreams it nurtured as you closed your eyes at night. Whether you discovered it during your childhood or stumbled upon it in later years, this movie is a treasure trove of memories waiting to be revisited. Now, it's your turn to shine a light on your unique experience. Share your favorite moments, the lines that still echo in your mind, and the emotions that bubbled up while watching this enchanting tale unfold. Let's keep the flame of Candleshoe burning bright by sharing our thoughts, memories, and reflections. Thank you for taking this journey down memory lane with me. Your time and interest are truly appreciated as we celebrate the magic of Candleshoe together. Keep the conversations alive and the memories vivid. Warmest regards.